Hey everybody, it's Randy. Welcome back out into the field with me. I'm actually spending today driving around in the Dunkard Basin, which is a little sub-basin within the Appalachian Basin named mostly for exposures of Permian strata of the Dunkard group. It's actually some of the youngest rocks that are in the Appalachian Basin. I'm going to be on the outskirts of it looking for some deposits, mainly these uh, marine zones that occur within the Glenshaw Formation of the Conemaw group. So it's a bit older, it's Pennsylvanian. But these units are known for their uh, gastropod fauna in there. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring maybe in there and go back to some of my, my old spots that I, that I know pretty well and see what I can find there. So we'll see what we can do. Hey everybody, so we're out here on the outcrop. Got here just a few minutes ago and started poking around. Um, we are again in the Glenshaw Formation and specifically I'm looking at the Pine Creek Marine Zone. And you can actually see this is the limestone at the base of it right here. And then it's passing up into these more shally faces behind me. I'm gonna spin this camera around here so that you can see the outcrop that I'm currently looking at. This big road cut here that I'm working on and what you have down here in this area, this is coming up out of the buffalo sandstone and into these sort of light gray clay stones. And then you can see this horizon coming in right about here and coming down through here, that resistant layer, that's the limestone at the bottom of the Pine Creek Marine Zone. You can then see that it passes up into these shallier facies here and then it finally passes up into these siltstone and sandstones that are up above me. Now the Glenshaw is a really interesting unit um, because it's the only unit in these Pennsylvanian deposits that has these laterally persistent marine incursions here. So there's the Brush Creek Marine Zone, there's the Pine Creek, the Nadine, um, the Ames Limestone that's up at the top of it, which is a pretty familiar one that um, most people have heard of that worked this section or have messed around in this area. Um, so what these are then is, again, these are you know nearshore environments that are subject to sea level changes. And when you get these sea level rises, you get these marine incursions that form these marine zones here that, that we're talking about here. And then these things end up being loaded with a lot of gastropod fauna, um, some brachiopod, cephalopods, rich coral facies, and those types of things. Now the interesting thing here that we're looking at is you can see this bed's kind of coming along straight and then it takes this dive down into here. That's actually not structural, but that's actually following the paleotopography of the basin at the time, which is what's one of the things that makes this outcrop pretty interesting. So I'm gonna start looking around and see what I can find here. Um, hopefully we'll find some neat cephalopods and, and gastropods and all of this. <laughs> Here's a close-up look at the limestone. You can see the cross sections of some coral sticking out here. When we move up into the higher section, that right there is a nice uh, Farcodonatus gastropod sitting there. And then when we get into these shally faces, you start seeing 
an increased occurrence in these siderite concretions coming up through here. So you see one there, you can see another one here, and then as we move up into the section there, you'll start seeing a bunch of them coming in up through there. Interesting stuff. So I'm pretty excited. This is one of the things I was hoping to find when I got here. Um, I just split this rock open. It's not complete, but that's the edge of a Metacoceras. It's a big uh, nautiloid from the Pine Creek Marine Zone. They're, I guess they're somewhat common. I found a few of them, but uh, always excited to find these. Just popped this open out of the same block. There's a real nice orthocone nautiloid. I'm not sure of the species. I'll figure that out when I get back. But uh, really excited about this tiny little block. A lot of really neat stuff in here. I'm going through these rock fall pieces here. There's another piece here. I'm going to flip it over, see if I can find anything. Uh, there we go. There's another piece of Metacoceras right there. That's exciting. I'm going to see if I can extract that a little bit. I'll bring it back to the house and really work on it. See if I can get this piece broke down a bit. just looking at this material getting ready to split this open and happened to look up at this and that guy sitting right there just huge gorgeous so, it's a real nice chanciella that whitish pink color on it that's actually the original shell material which is pretty spectacular but uh, yeah, just sitting right there. I'm pretty excited about that. That's, that's incredible. You don't find them that big that often, especially just sitting out in the open. Just stumbled across this block here. There's a nice orthocone cephalopod right there. Some other things in there, corals and whatnot. But what's really interesting is this here. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It might be a bottom of a large gastropod. Um, I'm a little reluctant to try and pull it out here for fear of breaking it, so I might have to check this out when I get back, but whatever it is, it's, uh, it's pretty darn exciting. I walked all the way down to there. You can see my tracks in the talus, and turned around and headed back and found this lane right here. So I'm glad I retraced my steps because I walked right by this the first time. So here's that thing I showed you earlier that was in the block that I didn't want to remove up there. I was able to very carefully peel it out and it's a giant gastropod. This is, I think it's another Chanciella. It's definitely the biggest one I've ever found. Well guys, I think that's it for me today. I got quite a bit of stuff, lugged a lot of rocks out of here. I'm excited to get back to the house and get this stuff into the prep lab and start getting a really nice look at some of the stuff I found. Um, I chalk it up to a pretty successful day there. I found a lot of really nice gastropods, some really nice cephalopod pieces. 